Hi guys, it's Taff. Welcome back to B17 The Mighty Eighth with the crew of the Angel Fire. So far we've successfully completed five missions, so we're no longer considered rookies. Uh, so let's um, enter the debriefing room and see where we're going for mission six. Okay, 16th of December 1943, the Bremen Oil Refinery. Uh, secondary target is the Focke-Wulf factory and a port for the tertiary target. So um, it's Bremen, whichever way we look at it. Um, furthest Distance to furthest target is 1163 miles. Fighter escort, we have two squadrons of P 47s. Uh, okay, the refinery. Flak strength is high. Fighter strength is moderate. Priority very high. Damage none. Okay. Um, I hate flak, high flak strength, but there we go. Uh, let's have a quick look at the uh, recon video. Okay, it's uh, going to be a little bit tricky to see actually, you can see the two towers and the oil pipes go in there and we've got that field to the west, so um, that's probably our best identification marker on that one. But the target really doesn't pop from the, the landscape as some of the others have, so uh, okay, we'll need to keep an eye out, eye out for that, but let's uh, let's begin the mission. Start engines. Okay, here we are. Master switch on. As they cycle through the uh, engine startup process and we begin to roll on the runway, um, you can see the the, uh, the bomb indicators on the uh, on the side of the plane there, with our five successful missions, and also our seven aircraft kills also indicated on just below the windscreen there. So uh, yeah, great stuff. Okay. okay, while they go through that. Uh, one of the comments I've seen from uh, Ed00 Abbles or Edibles, um, I'll just refer to you as Ed if that's okay, uh, is to stop hogging the top turret, um, which is fine. <laughs> I know, I know I do it. It's just the easiest one to use and uh, you get the best uh, all round coverage from that one. But yeah, no worries, I will try and concentrate and use some of the other positions as well. You know, obviously those guys are probably feeling a little bit unloved. So we'll start to give them a bit more love, and uh, you know, if we do get good hits on aircraft from other positions, uh, that will increase their skill level. So um, yeah, it's a good point, and it will also um, help us you know, be more successful in the future as well. So good comment, good point, well made, and yes, we will be doing that. If it all goes wrong, we'll also blame Ed. So uh, I hope you're ready for that. No, we won't. No, we won't. It's <laughs> it's all cool. So uh, let's uh, let's press on. Bandits incoming! Oh, the, I can't. Here they come. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Whoa, somebody's on fire. A uh, bomber's on fire below us. He's put the fire out, which is good news. Hang on, he's smoking, but he's coming back by the looks of it. Okay, switch to the ball turret. Let's have a quick look at that that bomber. Oh yeah, look, his engine's totally out, and he's feathered it beautifully. Excellent. So, guys have done well. Not sure if that's a friendly. Okay. So we're in the chin here with the bombardier. Um, we've got a couple of. I think they're friendlies. I'm in the completely the wrong gun, but it's a bit too late now. Ten o'clock. What was that? That wasn't a bomber. It was a bomber. No. Hang on a minute. Let me just check something. So there's okay. It was. It was one of our own fighters flew into the bomber. Oh my god! As if it's not hard enough as it is! Oh, that's the hell. Oh, pilot's lost. Bloody hell. Not the pilot. The navigator's lost. God damn it. Well, you know, 
He's obviously bunking off during uh, navigation school. Who's he diving on? Oh, I see them. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a fighter coming in. It's got two friendlies on him. Oh, they've downed him. I think they've downed him, have they? Yeah, our friendlies have took him out. Well done, guys. Well done. Okay, looks like we got a little bit of flak ahead. It looks relatively light, actually. It looks very light, actually. So not to worry. Okay, let's just help the, uh, the bombardier at uh, the navigator out. We just uh, we got the uh, okay. We got a river mouth here. Uh, we're just going over a river there, a uh, stream, and we got a town to the left of us. So let's just uh, see why the navigator is in such a pickle. So there we go. I think we're about here. Oh no, wait, no, 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 we're here, aren't we? Oh, what? What happened? What? Oh my god, they've got another one! I think that was another case of fighter kamikaze. God damn it. Okay, um, let's concentrate on what we're doing. So we've got this inland water here. I really don't know where we are. I don't have a clue. No, you don't. We are... Where the hell... Are... No, you haven't got a clue where we are. We are, in fact, about here. Your new heading is one, two, three. Repeat, one, two, three. Okay. God, we're miles off target. You see that road going around that... Stretch of water one, there. Zero, Repeat, one, this is that zero, road going around seven. there. Jeez. Roger. Useless. Now we're going to have to make a really tight turn to get back on uh, the bomb run. Uh, we're just coming over um, over the coast now. Uh, and there are four bogeys 12 o'clock in front of us. Um, as you can see, we've got the coastline just to blow us there. Uh, oh gosh, I shouldn't have done that. I lost them. There they are. So it looks like there's four of them. Don't know what they are yet. But they're, they're, oh, you can see them peeling off now. Here we go. Incoming. Oh, the anticipation is killing me. Come on. There goes our friendlies. Go on, little buddies. Go get them. Whoa. Whoa, this is scary. Oh, shooting out P-47. Bloody hell. Okay, we're smoking. Eight low. I can see a, a friendly. Oh, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Yeah. Oh, he's out. He never, never came into my gun range. Okay, they're concentrating on our, our wingman. So let's uh, switch to the waist and try and cover him. He looks okay. Here they, here they come. Bandit, three high, incoming. Bandit, three high, incoming. I think I've got a couple of hits on him. Whoa. Bandit, three high, incoming. Can't see anyone else. Here he comes. Is that him? No, I think he's a... Uh... No, he's a friendly. Bandit, four o'clock high. Four o'clock high. Oh, we're smoking again. Pilot to navigator. I really don't know 
where we are. I don't oh, have a clue. just sort it out. We're a little bit busy at the moment. Look, we just how hard can it be? We've just come over the coast. It's quite a hard, a large identification mark there. Here we go, bomber. Uh, Oh, well then, guys. Don't you dare dive on us. Where's he going? He's going straight up. He's going to stall. He's going to stall. And here he comes. Is he... There he goes. Okay, there's loads of traces going around. Is this, is this smoking guy coming in again? No, he's staying away. There he is. Just keep an eye on him. Got no chance of hitting him from here, but... I've got a feeling he's going to turn around and come and ram us. <laughs> 11 high. Damn it! Ah, oh, that's a horrible sound. God damn it. What is wrong with these people? Okay. We got some uh, uh, injured personnel there, have we? No, the two guys in the front um, were shaken up by that, which is unsurprising. Um, rather worryingly, there's um, more enemy targets on the horizon. Unless, let's just go to. Um, Okay. God damn it. There's got fighters coming in. Man, one o'clock level coming in. One o'clock level. Oh, one o'clock level. Damn it. Whoa, that was close. Oh, he's taking another bomber out. Jesus! God, you, if you hit them, they take you out. If you don't hit them, they take you out. We got next, and uh, uh, my my gunnery skills are appalling in this run. Okay, here they come. Stop whinging and just concentrate. Engine smoking again. I've got bomber on fire. God. Switch to the cheek position, see if anything's going on. No, can't see anything. Whoa, I think I'm... God damn it. I'm taking control, because he, uh... I'm sure he just 
put some shots through that bomber there. Uh, you'll, you will notice that there was a, a computer controlled icon, that wasn't me. We need to get control, we're all over the place on this one. Three level. I couldn't see that. There must have been another one because that bomber took a few hits and that's what I was watching. I can't believe the number of uh, fighters we've had on this one. It's been absolutely immense. Oh, and here comes the flak. Okay, this gives us a chance to switch to... Can we see the target? Oh yeah, look at her go. Boom 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 Oh yeah. Okay, we're just about to make the final turn. As you can see we've got the European uh sort of occupied Europe's coast below us. Uh, we're just going to make a turn east, no we're not, we're going to make a turn west even, to go uh, head back to the UK and home, uh, following the line of the coast on these little, uh, the little islands. So after that, the epic, you know, um, dogfights, or not really dogfights are they, the, uh, the mauling we've had from the Luftwaffe, um, we've come out relatively unscathed, we've got... Um, Got a fair few shots around the uh, around the waist, but um, whoa, where's he going? He's out of formation. Pilot, navigator. Oh no, it's us, isn't it? We're whoa. Okay, uh, we're a little bit sloppy. Our navigator seems to be lost, even though he's got two great islands below him, and he still can't identify where the hell he is. So. God knows why he's on our plane. He seems to be absolutely useless. So clearly we're here. God. Okay, guys, we've uh, we've dropped out of formation. Um, we're not even over English shores. We still got over the North Sea. Uh, we seem to be running out of fuel. So all those. Um, bullet holes and flak damage has caused us to have several fuel leaks as you can see engine 2 is out and engine 4 is pretty much low um, so yeah we're just heading low now dropping out formation gonna go a bit lower under cloud cover to uh, give us a bit more security and we're gonna make a run for home so we're on our own but uh, don't fear as we are out of uh, the uh, coverage of the Luftwaffe and there should be no further uh, anti-aircraft batteries between us and uh, us and home so uh, oh, through the cloud layer and we'll be making our run for home as you can see there's there's the UK over there so we haven't got far to go okay just at the uh, the co-pilots controls here we're just looking at the fuel uh, engine one has got What's that? 75, 80 litres or 80 gallons of fuel left. Possibly a bit 80, 82, 83. Uh, engine 2, which is clearly out of uh, out of fuel full stop. Engine 3, again, oh, it's just got just under 100 gallons, so that's good. And engine 4 has got, uh, it's got 200 and something gallons of fuel. So what I might do. I'm going to transfer some fuel from engine 4 to engine 1. 
Okay. Just so we, we know we've got plenty. So we go to the engineer, go to his secondary screen, which is here, and he's got this is the fuel transfer valve. So what we need to do is select engine one and engine four, or tank four, should I say, engine one and tank four, and we want to move fuel that way. So left click to send it from four to two. Uh, that should be enough. Let's switch that off. Whoops. And off. Now if we go back to the oh, the co-pilot, have a look at the controls. So engine one's now up to 150 litre gallons, sorry, engine two's out. Three is seventy-five and four is at the hundred and fifty mark. So there we go, we successfully transferred some fuel into engine or fuel tank one for the engine one, so uh, we should be good now to maintain our our course with three engines back home. May just feather engine two. So let's do that as we're here and we're doing all things like that. So let's just keep an eye on this. So let's uh, hang on, let me get my keys in my hands ready because the last thing I want to do <laughs> is switch the wrong engine off. Uh, so, okay. So it should be W to select engine 2 and D to feather. So let's take manual control. W, D, okay, let's give it back to the pilot and there we go. We've successfully feathered engine 2. Excellent, okay. Okay guys, here we are. I'm actually flying the plane at the moment because for so whatever reason the, uh, the pilot wants to ditch the plane. So unless I keep it on manual then um, he puts it in a complete nosedive and we're only at 4,000 feet so and the navigator's lost so uh, for some reason our crew is completely useless all of a sudden and uh, and not helping us so I'm going to follow the North Norfolk coast through to the wash in Kings Lynn and then on to our base so um, yeah this could be oh god knows what could happen now so um Hi guys, okay as you can see the uh, the city to our top right is um, is Norwich. Uh, so we've made it back to Norfolk uh, and uh, to be honest with you what I'm currently looking for is any airfield I can touch down on and I'll try and put it down. Okay. Uh, okay, I need to be beyond the plane otherwise I can't I can't fly it apparently. I can't <laughs> <laughs> Too much concentration is needed. Okay, so we're currently we're currently flying about five thousand feet, just over five thousand feet, one hundred and sixty miles an hour. Um, currently scanning for a an air base to land. Now, RAF Coltishall used to be around about here, but whether or not that was, I thought that was a World War Two base, but clearly not because it's not here or it's just not modelled in game. Um, yeah, so what I'll do, I'll keep an eye out for a friendly base and touch down, but yeah, we, we're going to be heading east. No, we're not, we're going to be heading west. Oh my god, I, I was having a go at my navigator earlier, and now I can't even get it right. So it's, uh, whatever's happening, it's catching, and no one can navigate at the moment. So, uh, hi guys, uh, as you can see, we are just coming up. That's Kings Lynn there, and that's the wash there. But look at this place. Um, yeah, don't worry about the smoking engines. Um, I'm not being very sympathetic to the mechanically sympathetic to the plane at the moment. Just trying to get home. But look at that! They got some sort of like it looks like a target. Or is it radar? I'm not sure what that is. But uh, yeah, that's pretty groovy, isn't it? Never seen that before. So. Uh, we just um, actually, I'm, I've climbed a bit too high. I'm at 9,000 feet. I just uh, throttle back a little bit and uh, drop a few thousand feet. But yeah, look at that. Uh, I'll have to have a look what that is. But any ideas? Leave a comment. I think that's probably a. Uh, Pilot, is it? Navigator, take up a heading of two. I would six, either guess six, it's. Um, two, six. Some sort of uh, radar station type thing, or, or possibly a, a bombing target thing. But it just seems an odd place to have a bombing target thing next to a town. So, um, 
Yeah, okay. I think, I think, oops, Daisy, I think over in the distance there is our airfield. So, um, uh, fingers crossed we're not too far out. So, um, hi guys, as you can see, we're still flying. Thank God. We're just coming over an airbase now. Um, I was going to put down there, but just in front. Here is our actual home base, so we might as well aim for that. Engines are reasonably okay. Uh, that's Peterborough behind us. We've we've made it. Well, no, we haven't. We've we've made it this far. Uh, I'm now going to start the descent and um, oh god, see if we can <laughs> get this thing on the ground. <laughs> oh, I think I got a horrible feeling. The uh, the toughest part is yet to come. So um, as you can see, engines are smoking a wee bit, but uh, we're almost there. Uh, wish us luck. Okay, as you see, we're coming down. I did actually just get, thought I caught a glimpse of. Uh, I think there's still bombers on their um, their their circling pattern before they uh, are given permission to land. So there'll still be bombers land. Oh, there looks like there's been. Looks like there's a crater on the runway. Look, there's a bomber coming in there, and there's oh no, this could this could end horribly. Uh, can you see all the bombers lined up in a row? Whoa. Uh, okay, they've stopped. Okay, um, I'm gonna land using this runway here. So um, I don't know what's going on. It looks like we've had some sort of air crash, but. Um, God, they've stopped those bombers quick, haven't they? Oh, look, yes. Oh, no, look, there's bombs all over the place. Uh, yeah, there's definitely two craters. Um, I think there's bound to be maybe a belly landing, which didn't go well. As you can see, you got all the bombers lined up there. But these guys seem to have stopped short, which is um God, they've done a fantastic landing. Oh no, we've got another bomber coming in now. Some way out. What we'll do, we'll do a pass and we'll come down on the opposite runway, so Yep. Ah, I can't I wanna watch him but I can't because I got I've got I've got to land this thing. So um Deploying flaps uh lowering landing gear yes oh my god the landing gear is working oh you know after all that i did, <laughs> for some reason i had i didn't think the landing gear would work okay let's um ease around sorry the camera's not very good i just i might go quiet as i concentrate whoops She's heavy at slow speed. That's okay, we can get this back. Oh god, camera angle stop messing around. Right, here we go. Okay, this is no, this is this is looking good. We've got no bombers coming across us, have we? No, and that bomber's or oh, that bomber's gone on the grass short, so that's good. All right, let's let's land this sucker. Oh, the engines are working finally, or well, they're they're obeying me, should I say? Okay, we 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 have oh, we're all going on. We've we've cut off a little bit too much pace actually. Crunch. Okay, she's a bit of a cruncher, but um, we're down. No, nothing coming across. So let's just have a look at those. Oh, look at those bombers there. Okay. <sighs> oh, that was a nightmare, wasn't it? Okay, let's have a read. Sixteenth of December, Roman oil refinery. Bombers lost or missing two. Enemy fighters shot down seven. Mission a oh, complete miss. Oh really? Everything was on fire. That's I can't believe that. 
Okay, anyway, um, so Troborg suffered a medium wound. Okay, yeah, we were, we came up short by the looks of it. Um, so, Bad Penny, killed in action. Okay, that was over enemy territory. Hotshot Charlie, crashed in friendly territory. Ah, oh, they're the ones who crashed on the runway by the looks of it. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, okay, only two crews done. Well, there we are, guys. That's, um... That's the end of mission six. It's kind of a, it's a funny mission that, isn't it? I don't feel elated to have um, finished it, but just relieved to be honest with you. Which is, I was like, that's probably a genuine feeling from what the guys felt back in the day. But um, we have got ten kills, so it looks like we did increase, we did shoot down three fighters and increase our, our, uh, our tally there. So let's just flick over to um, mission six. God, that wish there was a quicker way of doing this. Okay, mission six, here we go. So, Whitley shot down all three 109s. And Whitley is our, um, he's our bombardier, isn't he? Yes, he is. So that's the, the chin turret shut down three three fighters. So that's, that's great. So um, there we are. That's the end of mission six. I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm sure you are too. So thanks for watching. Um, any likes, comments, feedback, much appreciated. And uh, show the support for the series. And I'll keep continuing. Um, and yeah, so next time out is uh, Mission 7. And hopefully it'll be a little bit easier than this time out. So uh, thanks for joining us.